Okay, so I finally took apart um, the Vengeance RC car. It was a little annoying just because of these, uh, this hole right here, which was covered by a sticker, and this hole right here as well. Uh, they had screws in them, and it made it hard for me to take the, the top casing off, uh, but I figured it out with the help of one of my professors. Uh, so this is the the front casing or the front bumper. Uh, this of course would be the top casing. Uh, if you're gonna do this, just make sure you, you rip those stickers off and you unscrew the screws in there. Um, and then this is the inside of the RC car. This is how it looks without the top casing on it. So right here you have the circuit board and right here you have uh, the servo. All right, and I already unscrewed all of that. Um, and just some advice: if you're gonna unscrew something, and you're not really sure how to put it back together. Just label each screw, like I did here. Um, just put a section for each screw, and just tape them together onto a piece of paper, a white piece of paper, preferably. That way, you could just keep it organized, just in case you you ever need to put it back together, or when you need to put it back together. All right, but moving on. So, uh, these are DC motors, I believe, and um, if you, when I take apart, when I take these cases off, you can look at the actual circuit board and see where everything is being um, uh, put out to. Um, I'm going to actually have to do some more research on the inside on the circuit board itself just to see uh, what's being powered and how much power is going to be given to uh, each motor to figure out if I need a voltage regulator um, and stuff like that. Also need to do some, some research on servos which is what this is right here. This is a servo itself um, and it's uh, I believe it's powering these two uh, motors to make them turn uh, left and right. And then uh, this this back wheel I believe this is where all the, the power for the speed comes from. So I'm just going to do some research on the circuit board, some research on servos, and um, I believe the way I'm going to find out how much, how many voltage or how much voltage is being used for each DC motor is by using a multimeter. Um, and that brings me to my point. Uh, this, there's a white cable on here. Uh, this cable right here. Uh, this was previously for the antenna. Uh, but I, I snipped it. So when I actually measure the multi well measure the voltage for the multimeter with the multimeter, I'm gonna need to actually uh, open up the cable a little bit and then just retwist it to so that I can have a connection uh, with the remote control. Because right now, if I was to turn the device on, if I was to turn the the RC car on, I wouldn't be able to use it with the remote control just because uh, this cable is snipped. All right. So that's just my, my updated uh, status on this project. I'm going to figure out what tools I need. Uh, I'm going to order them, and then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to connect the Pi to it. All right.